On a network switch, there's lots of different changes that we can make, especially on a switch like a Cisco Layer 3 switch. I'm going to start by doing a show run to show the running configuration. And here you can see version information as well as the types of ports. In this case, we see gigabit Ethernet. And we keep on scrolling through. You can also see the default gateway as well as VLAN information. What I'd like to do is to make changes to the capabilities of a specific Ethernet port. In this case, it'll be gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. But first, I have to show what those capabilities are. So I'm typing in the show interface, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 capabilities. And here you can see the model of the switch followed by the type, the speed, things like that. So the type is showing that it is a 1000 base TX, but it can also run at a 100 or 10 megabits. And it shows under speed that I can set it to auto 10, 100, or 1000. Under duplex, I can set it to half full or auto. Now what that means is if I send it in half, then any data that's going to be sent is going to be sent one direction at a time. So clearly that's going to be a lot slower than going with full. Now if I set it to auto, it should automatically detect the duplex of any device connected to it. The problem is it doesn't always work. So that's why we sometimes have to manually change the speed as well as the duplex. Now you can also see the trunk encapsulation and trunk mode. In this case, if we decide to put the port switch in trunk mode, that means we can connect something like a wireless access point that has multiple different VLANs. But if we put it into switch port mode, that means we're only going to be able to connect a device like a computer to it. So next I'd like to show the status of this particular port. So I'll do show interface gigabit ethernet 2 status. And it shows me that the port is on VLAN 1. Nothing's connected to it currently. The duplex is, and the speed are both set to auto, and that type is still set to be the same. So I'm going to go into Configure Terminal. That me, allows me to configure that port. Now I have to specify the port that I'd like to change. So I'm going to type in the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. And now I'm in that interface. So you can see config-if, which stands for interface. I'm going to type in speed followed by a question mark. And that tells me all the different things that I can change with speed. So right now we know it's set to auto as per the previous types of commands that I typed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 1,000. I'm going to force it to 1,000, which it probably is going to be anyway, which is 1 gigabit. But just in case you have a device plugged in that doesn't detect Cisco's auto protocols, then you need to manually set the speed. Now, if I change my mind on that, I can just change it right back to auto again. Let's do the same with duplex. So I'll put in duplex followed by a question mark. And you can see auto, full, and half. Every once in a while, I have to force the duplex to full just because the device that's plugged into it doesn't recognize that. Or I could change it back to auto if I change my mind. The next thing I'd like to do is to set the switch port access mode. Now, by default, it's going to be set into switching only, which means it's expecting a computer to be plugged into it. But I can add something to that, and that is I can say I'd like it to communicate on VLAN 1, just in case you have multiple different VLANs, because it is a Layer 3 switch. And finally, maybe I would like to change from switch port access to trunk mode. So I'll put in switch port question mark, and here's all the different ways that you can change this. And one of those is going to be trunk mode. That would be if I plugged in, say, another switch to this device that was connecting multiple different VLANs, or maybe that wireless access point that has multiple VLANs on it. And I'll just say allowed VLAN. Now I could say one, or I could say all VLANs. And now this port is set to have other devices, rather than computers, other devices like switches, routers, possibly wireless access points, and others that have multiple VLANs on them that want to communicate through this port. Configuring switches is an important part of configuring any type of network switch you use in your network.